a bit simple uh, numerical than uh, CFX acts and descent method. But here also, no, uh, uh, it is either the numerical will come for CFX acts and method, uh, descent method, or a Newton method, right? So you should be able to uh, understand this Newton method, and it is a simple method than that of your uh, your CFX acts and descent method with respect to your uh, uh, time as well as uh, you know, the calculation part, right? So let's understand first what has been given and you know, what is the uh, what is the procedure to do so. So we have an algorithm for uh, Newton's method. So these are the five steps, right? Uh, the first is you know, select x0, similar to that of your CFX action descent method, identify what is x0, right? After that, what we have to do here is, you know, we have to calculate the del of x, x0, and we have to cons, uh, calculate h inverse of x0, right? Now here, uh, up in this, uh, up till this part, we know what is del of fx0. I'll be making you understand what is your h inverse of x0, right? Nextly, we are going to calculate a del x here. And del x is nothing but your, you know, uh, a step, right? So here, it is what you can say. A step length here, the value of h, what we you know when uh, CFX Hassan method we derived, you know, to understand in which direction to move. Here it is represented by here this is del x. You now you have to remember it is not the del f or no, it is not del f x zero. It is a subsequent quantity, and what is it is? It is the multiplication of h inverse, uh, no, uh, minus of h inverse x zero, and del of f x zero t. इसका ये मल्टीप्लिकेशन है। एक बार ये मिल गया आपको, तो यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज़ द वैल्यू ऑफ़ एक्स डैश, व्हिच इज़ नथिंग बट दिस एक्स जीरो प्लस दी डेल एक्स और डेल्टा एक्स दैट वी हैव फाउंड आउट बाय यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन। एंड देन दी इटरेशन फॉलो and del x is equal to minus h inverse uh, x1 into del of fx1 transpose matrix. And here it will be x2 is equal to x1 plus del x, right? So del x that we have found out with this particular uh, uh, formula, right? So let's understand one simple numerical with the help uh, no, uh, uh, this, which uses the Newton method. And then uh, maybe I'll be giving you a homework, a small numerical as a homework, so that you can practice this uh, uh, how to solve, right? So minimize f of x is equal to twice x1 square minus twice x1 x2 plus twice x2 square minus 4 x1 minus 6 x2. So this is the uh, objective function that has been given, and we have been told to minimize uh, this, right? And they have also told us that uh, x0 is 0, 0. Clear cut, it is given in the numerical itself that we have to use the Newton's method, right? So we have these two uh, things, x0, and uh, that has been given to us. And now what we are going to do is we are going to follow these steps according to the algorithm, right? So what we have is, you know, we have to find out what is del of fx0. So it is very simple as the value of x1 and x2 is 0 and all the terms in this the uh, in the objective function have either x1 or x2 uh, uh, terms right so uh, substituting the values of x1 and x2 in the objective function so f of x0 is equal to 0 we have already seen what is del of fx right it is the partial derivative of uh, objective function with respect to x1 and comma partial derivative of objective function with respect to x2. If it would have been you know, three variables here, for example, x1, x2, and x3, so we would have got another term, comma, daba f upon daba x3, right? But here there are only two variables. So we have you know, written uh, del of fx uh, in this particular format. So uh, then partially derivating this with respect to x1, what you'll be getting is 4x1, right? It is plus twice x2. Okay. There is a simple, you know, we are, there is a sign mistake that we have got. It is plus x plus twice of x2 
minus 4 comma twice of x1 plus 4x2 minus 6 right so i'm hoping that you have understood this that is just the partial uh, derivative of uh, this that we have to uh, consider and then we can move uh, ahead with our calculation or we can move ahead with our uh, step right so there's a minor mistake from my side here right so it is a plus sign here but the you know, uh, it will this particular value is minus 4 only so there is uh, no uh, change in the further uh, mistake or in the pre uh, further numerical right so if you calculate del of fx0 that i have checked it comes out to be you know uh, it is minus 4 only because this will be 0 0 and it will be minus 4 and here it will be minus 6 so minus 4 comma minus 6 is the value of del of fx0 right now what we have to do what is hx h is you no know, it is the in first unit if you remember it is the heisen matrix right and if there are two variables the heisen matrix is written in this particular manner i hope that uh, no you remember this in our first unit when we talked about the heisen matrix and we have written the heisen matrix for you no know, if the variables are n variables for that we have written now here we have only two variables so how this heisen matrix is written daba square f upon the first term is daba square f upon daba x1 square right the next term here the second term here is in the same row is daba f upon daba x1 x2 right the third term right it is daba square f daba x2 x1 this is very important huh? now here it was with respect to x1 only so x1 x1 clearly i'm going x1 square like here yeah by x1 or x2 do no be like a bhp firstly i'm local variable milega x2 or dusra variable x1 so daba square ff upon daba x2 x1 or second yaa pe raega x2 into x2 so is the yes square okay it's like i'm logan like here daba square f upon daba x2 square right i'm hoping that you have understood this you no know, heisen matrix and you know uh, i'm hoping that you have able to recall actually right because we have already seen this so what we have to find out firstly we have to find out daba square f upon daba x1 square so firstly we'll have to find out what is the value of daba f upon daba x1 so if we do the partial derivative of our objective function so we'll be getting right so partial derivative of the objective function so it will be what it will be 4 x1 plus twice x2 minus 4 right so we have to find out daba square f upon daba x1 square so again we'll have to uh, no partially derivate to this uh, uh, this equation what we have got that is 4x1 plus 5x2 minus 4 with respect to daba upon daba x1 so what we'll be getting is these two terms which have no it will be 4x1 uh, 4x1 will have get converted into 4 and then we'll be having the zero values both uh, right so here we are the value of this first term here wala jo first term is ka value kya hai aapka IIA 4. Now, next is daba f upon daba x1 x2. So, which can be written as daba square f upon daba x1 x2 is nothing but daba upon daba x1. Or, ye aapko iska partial derivative lena hai. So, ye wala term hum loo ke paas hai nahi. So, we have found out what is this term daba f upon daba x2. And that particular comes out to be twice x1 plus. Should be made no yeah plus 4 x2 minus 6 all right so we can find out this term now right so it is taking the partial derivative of our this equation and substituting the values you know we you know, taking the derivative you get the value of 2 here right similarly we can move ahead and we can find out what is the value of you know uh, daba square f upon uh, daba x2 square and that value comes out to be 4 right last value that is remaining is daba square f upon daba x2 x1 that can be written as daba upon daba x2 in bracket daba f upon daba x1 and again finding that value we get it as 2 so we have got four values here 4 then next is 2 then we have got 4 and we have got 2 right 
so all these are very very you know uh, important values we'll be putting this here right so h inverse uh, it is you know uh, the heisen matrix is given as hx is equal to 4 uh, 4 in 4 2 2 and 4 so what we have to find out is the inverse of this matrix do you know the you know uh, i guess you know what is the formula for this right i'm not able to write this formula properly because of non availability you know that is uh, it is not getting connected properly so agar hum log isko a b c d maan le a b c d maan le to ye aapka a hai ye aapka b hai ye aapka c hai aur ye aapka d hai aisa maan le so the inverse of your matrix is given by 1 upon ad minus bc and we will be writing in uh, matrix as d minus b minus c minus a so what is this this is 1 upon you no know, it is ad minus bc so what is ad a into d that is 16 and what is b into c you no know, it is minus bc you no know? so it is 2 into 2 that is 4 so 16 minus 4 so what is this first term this first term according to your uh, inverse becomes d so what is this d tha ye hum logo ne yaha pe likh liya right so yaha pe hum logo ne d likh diya ye wala jo term ho jata hai this d uh, here it is uh, uh, minus b right so minus b ye hum logo ne yaha pe likh diya ye wala jo term hota hai this is your minus c that we have written and here it is what is this term it is a so i'm hoping that uh, you are able to recall if not i'll be sending you i'll be writing that particular formula on the pdf copy that i'm going to send you so that you can compare right so now what we get is this uh, equation that is 1 by 12 is equal to uh, 1 by 4 into 4 minus 2 minus 2 4 right so now what we can do is this 12 we can take inside so 4 by 12 is nothing but 1 by 3 minus 2 by 12 is nothing but minus 1 by 6 uh, minus 2 by 12 is minus 1 by 6 and 4 by 12 is 1 by 3 right so this is the term now what we have to find out according to the algorithm according to algorithm we have to find out this del x value which is nothing but minus of uh, h inverse x0 right and it is del of f, f, uh, fx0 t right so all these values we already have we have this value which is substituted here but we have to remember that it has a negative sign so this negative sign is to be always remembered right nextly we have this as the you know uh, um, del of fx 0 t so that transpose matrix is also uh, written here so what we'll have to do is here we'll have to do the multiplication of these two matrix right uh, and uh, uh, these two matrices and uh, you'll be getting a resultant matrix in this particular format and then you know uh, as there is a negative sign uh, this will become these two values will become positive values right so hoping that you have understood this uh, step up till here so this is the del x uh, it, the value is the del x right is it complex no it is not that you know, but i hope you understand you know, you know what is the how we do the multiplication of these two matrices if not i'll be explaining you again uh, in uh, next lecture so it is just no i uh, remember it as minus one minus is a minus sign or or is a plus one ka sign so as a minus one may remember karta ho. so it is what it is one by three into minus four plus minus one by six into minus six so ye wala term ya pe aa jayega, right nextly it is minus one by six you know into minus one by four into one by three into minus six so this term particularly will be come okay now what we have to find out is uh, x0 is the uh, x dash which is equal to x0 plus del x now do we have the values of x0 and del x yes x0 we already have which is 0 0 and uh, del x we already have this as 0 uh, no, uh, 0 point uh, double uh, 0 point 3334 and 1 point uh, 3, 3, 3, right so now what is the value of x1 x1 value becomes this now the next step is to find out f of x1 and check if we have actually minimized this particular function or not right so minimization of this particular function will be what it is you know finding out this value 
uh, putting the values in this equation and what we get value for f of x1 is minus 4.6667 right so now uh, no, uh, because in steepest ascent descent method what we do we find out the values of x uh, no x0 is already given we find out the values of x1 we find out the values of fx1 then we find out the value of x2 and then we can find out the value of fx2 but in uh, newton method uh, no uh, uh, taking into consideration all this uh, small 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 calculations that you have to do they have you know, restricted uh, in finding out the value of fx1 only so you don't have to find out what is the value of x2 you don't have to find out what is the value of fx2 your numerical ends here by tabulating your values right so x value is x0 you know uh, that we have got x0 uh, or, or that is given 0 comma 0 and f of x0 is nothing but equal to 0 right similarly x dash is 0 0.334 and now uh, the another value is 1.3334 and if you put the value of fx dash it comes out to be minus 4.6667 just justifies that you have been moving in the right direction your calculations are right and you know you are getting a minimized the value uh, with respect to this particular thing so with uh, you know, uh, while comparing with your steepest ascent descent method uh, this is uh, you know, a bit uh, easy to remember uh, and again, uh, one more very important thing is that it requires the less calculations. If it requires the less calculation, uh, it is uh, easy to cover in the less time. And uh, very less chances are there that you will be making some mistakes. Because previously when we did steepest ascent descent method, we'll have to, we have to find out the values of h. And we have already seen how cumbersome that process is. You know, uh, if there are decimal values, you know, uh, it becomes more cumbersome because now, though the process is simple, you have to add those, uh, no, uh, put those values on the calculator, take it square, and again while putting the values and while writing the values, there can be the error. But here, what is the here? The error won't be there, and you'll be getting, you know, as there are less calculations uh, thing that we need to do, so it will be happening in a very easy manner. So the best thing, what is here is, you know, you have to uh, critical step that we can identify is finding out the H inverse. And then finding out what is the you know uh, value of your uh, del h. If that two values are find out, so you know uh, uh, these two are the critical steps, and uh, it will be finished easily, right? So that is the case uh, I wanted to highlight, right? So this is the Newton's method. It is simple, and it has its base in the steepest ascent descent method because you know we are using the same philosophy finding out del fx0 and considering and del fx0 you know, here also this particular step is same only what we have found out and then we have coupled this particular thing with the inverse uh, negative inverse of your uh, heisen matrix right and that particularly will be giving you the value of x1 right so this is the case uh, i'm 